another slightly difficult question for you to answer. The first time yield of four subprocesses are given as 99 percent, 98, 99 and 97 percent. What is the roll throughput yield RTY and Z long term? In order for you to answer this question, you should know what is RTY and what is the formula for RTY. You also need to know what is Z long term. Now let's uh, head to Excel and do the computation there. As covered in our curriculum, Greenbelt curriculum, the roll throughput yield is nothing but the true representation of the quality of the process in the sense that it talks about a product or a widget that has passed through all the sub processes sequentially without either being scrapped or without being reworked. So it is a state through scenario. Now the roll throughput yield formula is nothing but it is the product of the first time yield of all the processes. So in this case we have four processes which have the first time yield as 99, 98, 99 and 97 respectively. So I have just done a simple multiplication of the yields to get the overall uh, roll throughput yield of this process which is 93.17 percent. Now for me to answer the next part of the question which is what is the Z long term I need to know uh, a formula in Excel. Now if you just are able to do this computation and answer and select the right option from whatever is given there I think that will do as well as far as these four options are concerned but if you get another question in which uh, you have more than one option having the answer of 93.17 then you have to actually compute the Z long term to answer this question. So we will do that right now. Now in order for us to do that what I have done is I have found out the defect rate 100 minus 93.17. So I have a defect rate of 0 0.0683 that is 6.8 percent is getting either reworked or scrapped in the process. Now in order for you to answer this question uh, you need to know one formula in Excel which is norm.s.inv which is nothing but a formula where you give the standardized normal cumulative distribution and it returns the value of the z here. So the probability that we want to give is this value. As you see this is nothing but a probability right the probability or the defect rate. And I get the answer as 1.48. Now it must be evident to you what the right answer is. The right answer is the fourth option where RTY is 93.17% and the Z long term is 1.49. I think you could have answered this just by calculating the RTY and you would have saved some time. 